afternoon. This is a reading from a letter to the editor. It was sent to a gay newspaper, and the editor took it seriously. And Cookie, <laughs> Cookie Kitty, <laughs> Cookie Kitty, uh, um, thinks it's not serious. But here is a reading by Cookie Kitty of this letter to the editor. Okay, and I have to say, just preface this with the misspellings are so egregious and so many that I think it's, I'm not going to be able to just stop and read all the spellings, but um, it starts with Dear Fagots, F-A-G-O-T-S, Faggies, Dykes, D-I-K-E-S, Sodomites with two Ds, Lispians with two S's, and Queer Bates, B-A-T-E-S. And so you can see I can't do this through the whole letter. But that's why I think that this is an intentional tongue-in-cheek thing, because it's, it's just so many errors. And okay. don't be alarmed. Kitty's legs are not really one foot long. Uh, <laughs> they're normal size, but from this angle. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if they were, <laughs> we probably shouldn't call attention to it. <laughs> I recently came across your address in a newspaper which I couldn't pronounce. I was reading, and a plea for donations to support your perversions caught my eye. There is no excuse for you. You're all, and it's Y-O-U-R, not, you know, you are. And there are ten of these words. You are all sick, 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 sick. And so, judge for yourselves. I think this is just meant to be funny. Uh, and uh, it's it's very clever. And so, if, if anybody's out there who wrote this, I would like to like you to uh, respond to our. Can they do that to our YouTube page? Yeah. Yes. And I would like to congratulate the brilliance of this. Gays are barf inducing. Because you know what they do in private. Sex organs are not very sanitarily clean. Sanitarily being not a word. <laughs> Regardless of a man's... Wait a minute. I think I lost my place. Six, 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 six. Uh, oh, regardless of a man's ability as an artist, dress designer, or choreographer, three favorite professions, I am sure <laughs> the bottom line is that he enjoys, and then there are inexplicable brackets, a long, explicit, and obviously well-researched description of gay male sex. I'm sure that lesbians engage in similar disgusting acts, and then more brackets, no description, colon. They still can't figure out what we do in bed, exclamation point, end of brackets. Who is Barry Goldwater compared to God? Whatever that means. <laughs> Check the following verses, ver verses spelled V-E-R-S-U-S, -S, as in against. Check the following verses of scripture. Genesis, Genesis, instead of Genesis. Romans, R-O-M-E-N-S, Leviticals, and Prophets, P-R-O-F-I-T-S. Pretty clever, eh? <laughs> God created him at, okay, everybody say this together. God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Steve. Right, so that's not original, but it's still kind of funny. God never made men for men or women for w women and for anyone to say he in quotation marks, did, would be to call God a liar, L-I-E-R. And God is inexplicably in quotation marks. <laughs> so that's funny, too. The Bible makes it clear that Jesus preferred straight men. <laughs> this is why God sent you AIDS, A-I-D-E-S. In our day, AIDS were helpers in the principal's office. <laughs> Question, what, what do we who trust in God call so sodomites and lesbians? Answer, with four exclamation points. Anybody care to guess in the audience?
Answer, sodomites and lesbians. <laughs> but I'm bump. <laughs> The homophiles are nothing short of a hatred-spreading group that has joined forces with the KKK and the brown shirters and the anti-Semitics. Homos have no right to teach in our public schools. You just want to pray, P-R-A-Y, on our children and lead them in a stray. <laughs> there isn't a homosexual alive who fought and died for his country like we did. My wife is not a lesbian, and neither is my son. <laughs> I, I've never had sex with a man, and neither has my wife. See, this is why I think he made this up. It's, it's brilliant. I hope that you're, comp while you are, campaigning for homosexuals, oh, that's correct, and is due to your being unknowable, rather than your thinking the things they do are just quote, sexual preference. Keep your sexual perversions to yourself, and I'll keep my sexual perversions to myself. <laughs> I also challenge the word homophobic. They left out the O. As fear of hobosexuals. <laughs> See, that's pretty clever. <laughs> I'm not homophobic. I have no fear of your type, only contempt. And like the Jews have anti semitic like S-E-M, like semen, S-E-M-E-N-I-C, and before it was anti-Semitic. And so this is why I'm thinking they're just making all this up. So let's get rid of the word homophobia. How about homo <laughs> gag, choke, vomit, in parentheses. Sure, you, you can call me homophonic if you like. <laughs> but, but I know what's right and what's wrong. When all you perverts are in hell, it will be a much better place. <laughs> That's the best one, I think. I am curious about how you got our our name. I suppose that's a secret you'll keep buried in your bosom. I do not encourage anyone likely to place me on your mailing list to get more such weird offers. I demand that you remove me from your rooster. <laughs> Signed, <laughs> Satan, Hellfire Lane, Hell Incorporated. And then the editor seemingly writes this comment that sounds serious. Asterisk, as you can see, we have met the enemy and they are illiterate! Exclamation point, printed as written. Hmm. So, you you judge. Dig yes, these my crazy. Legs are not foreshortened. Dig these crazy pants. <laughs> and this was an unintentional. Unintentional. Tie unintentional. I, I didn't tie them. I just threw them in the a bleach wash. I'll take credit for that. <laughs> Ta-ta. Ta-ta.